20 seconds. That's how long I needed to hold out there. I couldn't move, but I knew for sure that I was going to tap. So I got into her choke where my arm was one arm in and her legs were around my neck. If I move an inch, she would have tightened the choke. It was a fierce fight with her. I was leading, but I could definitely feel her hunger to win. So we were hit to hit, we were team on points, but the last 20 seconds, she got me in the choke. It just felt like all eyes were on us. I could hear my dad and my coach at the stands. I was trying to escape from a submission. I was looking at the timer and trying to breathe. I just won the World Championship. Wow. So I've been doing sports, swimming in particular, since the age of five. And it has been an up and down journey, I would say. I started off representing Singapore in competitive swimming. But when I was 15, I lost a race. And that led to someone telling me, You lost because you're gaining weight. You have to watch what you eat. That was the start of my eating disorder. I remember looking into the mirror and feeling like I'm just not worth anything. I felt not good enough. I was just so focused on losing weight. Then I left swimming, trying to find myself, and I stumbled onto BJJ. Back then, I was really drawn to martial arts because of how empowering it is, especially as a woman. And I loved the feeling of fighting for myself. I fought against the stereotypes telling me, Girls should do a safer sport. Aiyah, uh, you won't go far with a sports career in Singapore. No. Girls should be classy. Why roll around the floor like that? I want to prove all these stereotypes wrong because it was in BJJ that I regained my mental strength and became stronger than ever. So Jiu-Jitsu actually means gentle art in Japanese, but personally, I wouldn't say it is a gentle art. I even tore my outer knee ligament in one of the competitions. I made a promise to myself, which I put up on my wall to look at every morning. But with a promise comes sacrifices and hard work. I really wanted to win the World Championship so that I can bring more exposure to the BJJ community in Singapore. But the journey was tough and self-doubt was at an all-time high. Three weeks before the World Championship, I was just totally out of it. Thankfully, I have a strong community here with me. My coaches and teammates who stepped me back on track when I had self-doubt. My mum who still gets emotional at my competitions and my dad always encouraging me to do what I love. They are the ones who spur me to continue doing what I love and that is the JJ. And as long as it's my passion, I will continue to fight on.